Hello you beautiful legends and welcome to the new episode of Blunt Force Healing Podcast. It's a round episode number 350. For those of you that are new to the channel and to the podcast, this means that 350 exact days passed since this project started and each and every single day the episode of the podcast has been recorded and the blog post has been written. So consider it as an unbroken streak. Not sure if it paused at the moment because some ridiculous notification showed on my screen uh, but I hope it didn't break the whole recording. If it did, well, I didn't say anything important yet, so let's dive straight into it. And just a quick reminder for everyone that do not follow me, my blog, or the actual project on YouTube and Spotify or whatever pod podcast platform you use. So it started in 19th of September 2022, on 19th September, and I never missed a single day since, in terms of writing the blog and updating the journal or in audio version, which is the podcast. If you're watching on YouTube or on a Spotify video, then you're lucky to be uh, one of those that only experience the video episodes. Some of the old and, you know, solid foundational members of community that follow me for long enough, they know that it started as audio podcast only and at the very beginning for the first 200 episodes they were pretty much like audiobook readouts of the blog post itself so I always wrote the blog post and then I read it an audio version to create the podcast episode but obviously I was a bit robotic and mechanical and didn't sound well uh, while the blog posts were written obviously genuine by me and they, they were fine reading it without adding any thoughts or kind of corrections to the blog was yeah, was mechanical and didn't feel genuine so from episode 200 onwards I did a loose conversation like this one, basically, so the kind of standard podcast format where I just discuss the given day um, highlights and, and updates. And later on, obviously, I started doing the video version of it, and this particular video episode, the video episode, is number 128 which if you deduct probably about three or four episodes that were scattered and irregular at the very beginning, we end up with about 124 or 125 uh, episodes of this podcast daily. So every single day, another stream. So roughly we have 350 days of blogging and podcasting in general of which 125 are a streak of the you know video recording but video recording itself it's number 128 okay a bit of boring facts that i needed to remind from time to time to make sure that all the newcomers understand what this project consists of and what it is about and what it is about it was about building habits and routines that last, especially for people that are a bit procrastinators like myself and 
to be honest, I spent all of my life being a very reactive person and someone who really struggled to establish long-lasting habits or routines. And my idea of journaling was to do exactly that. Establish one core routine that I will do at all costs. Well, obviously not at all costs. Uh, in terms of like, you know, I won't sacrifice my life to do it or somebody's life to do it, but you know what I mean. Uh, this is something that I have to do every day. There are satellite habits that I added later on, so they kind of surround that like satellites. Uh, name suggests and these are uh, language learning in Duolingo coding or programming lessons in Mimo app and also a brain training kind of gamified approach to training with Elevate app so there are three apps there were five but I eliminated two because I didn't see any benefits coming from them and they were very dual just taking time and unnecessary pressure on me to do five satellite habits instead of three so here we are it's Sunday yesterday we had quite active day uh, with a trip to Eni uh, with Julian for a, for a moment and it was a great weather then we went with uh, Elizabeth and Julian to Bundaran. Uh, we spent a nice time at Tulan uh, Strand and did a little bit of surfing, I guess. And uh, Elizabeth did her walk, so it was nice. I updated about it in the last episode, so if you want to know more about it, then just head on to yesterday's episode or yesterday's blog post and you can read and listen about that today it's obviously middle of the day at the moment it's exactly 13:59, so we are approaching 2 p.m and that means basically let me just not film other people it's just a security thing i don't like you know putting especially any kids or you know without any permission I know it's a bit maybe a bit paranoid but you can get a warning from YouTube if you put somebody else's face without their cons consent so especially you know minors might be difficult to defend uh, so yeah Today, uh, it's, it's a half day, so I can only update about what happened during that half day. What we did with Julian is we went to Ini Water again. Same place that we visited yesterday, but yesterday we did pretty much just a walk alongside the riverbank and explored the river so he could see the, the area. While today we went specifically to check for mushrooms and we came back with the whole bag of nice bullets and chanterelles and a couple of hedgehogs which are well not the real hedgehogs but the mushrooms that actually underneath they, their hymenophore is not uh, like a pipes or the sponge nor the the actual gills but little you know spikes that are like a hedgehog that I guess they remind a little bit uh, resemble the hedgehog like thing so that's why people tend to call them common name hedgehogs these mushrooms are actually very very interesting because they have so many compounds that are very beneficial for us that some tend to call them uh, you know the garlic of mushrooms or the mushroom garlic because garlic is one of those things that have a lot of you know anti-inflammatory antibacterial properties and it's very beneficial for our body 
and the same stands for the actual mushroom that the hedgehog is. I'll probably write a little bit about it in the coming posts. It's autumn or fall that started in northern hemisphere, so I expect a lot of mushrooms to pop out again because we are probably mid-season, so we still have a long way to go. And this will be a main theme of the upcoming uh, episodes, I guess, sometimes until the season fades a bit and mushrooms will be just a sporadic occurrence in the woods. They are always there, they are all year round, but obviously the biggest bloom happens during like uh, summer and autumn, so this is when most of the people consider season to be. So yeah, we came back with Julian, it was an interesting visit in Eni. We caught the little frog and observed it because it was sitting on my uh, palm and wasn't jumping away. So Julian could observe how it was breathing and all that stuff. So it was a very cool experience to show it to him and also we followed one of the sheep. Then uh, he found a lot of mice mushrooms. Uh, actually, the, that hedgehog thing is was his found, find. He found a couple of chanterelles and a lot of bullets, like birch bullets. So a very, very fruitful um, spotting from Julian's side as well. It was a nice collaboration. We came back with the full kind of, you know, I would say this size um, net like a grocery net of, of, full of mushrooms. So it was pretty heavy. I'd say about, it could have been about two kilograms, uh, I guess. Yeah, I think that what might have been that. So at the moment I'm in Lidl because I came here to do some shopping. We are going to visit some beach uh, with Elizabeth after that, so that update probably will go to the blog post. And this is very important. I don't just write the blog post the same way I do the recording of the podcast. These are complementary, so it's always something different about the blog post and something different about the, the actual uh, video recording and the podcast so I always recommend going for both reading and watching especially that I make it easy for those of you that want to do it if you go to the blog post it's always it always starts with a single paragraph then the YouTube video is embedded so you don't need to go to YouTube you can watch it within the blog within the actual blog post and then scroll down and keep reading. So they complement each other, they are in one place. So I highly recommend going for both if you consider reading and, and watching. For now, I guess it's the whole update for today. Not sure what happens tomorrow, but tomorrow is obviously Monday and a work day, so it will be quite busy I suspect but it's life I will be ringing uh, the guy that is potentially going to build us uh, that mobile sauna on the trailer so my, th there might be update about that tomorrow as well in the meantime I wish you a great day afternoon or evening wherever you are uh, make sure to subscribe if you want uh, to watch it regularly, either on YouTube or if you are on WordPress, you can subscribe on WordPress. If you have none of it and would like to see the blog post, you can always subscribe to the MailChimp list and the, the form or the field to subscribe is in each and every 
blog post so we can you can do that that's 15 minutes in thank you very much for popping by I always uh, appreciate your time because you could have spent that 15 minutes on something more valuable than just listening to me or watching so it's always appreciated the time that you spend here and I hope to see you again in the meantime stay tuned and see you tomorrow